talks about school to me, I'm like, Bitch, does it look like I care? No. But for some reason, I literally love filming back to school videos so, so much. I think they're my favorite videos to film and I have no idea why. I have made some really awesome back to school supplies. I literally love everything I've made in this video so much. Like, brrr, I love them so much. Also, this video is a collab with Jodes from Just Jodes. I love Jodes so much. She puts so much work into her videos and her videos are so, so good and when this video goes up I will have met her at Summer in the City. If you didn't know I will be at Summer in the City this year, um, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and I will be doing a panel on Sunday if you did not know at 2pm. I'm not sure what stage but you can probably find the information somewhere on the website or the app. I would love to meet some of you guys, I will just be walking around so if you do see me don't be afraid to come up and say hello. And without further ado, let's get on to the video. So the first DIY I'm going to show you how to do is this jersey backpack. So what you will need for this DIY is a plain backpack, an iron and some transfer paper. So what I did is I went onto pickmonkey.com and pressed design. I then went and chose a font where the inside is transparent. This one is called Action Comics and typed in the number I wanted. I want 07 because my birthday is on the 7th. I then went to the texture tab and pressed open my own texture and used this one that I found on Google searching in Tumblr pink grid. I then pressed reverse effect and filled in inside of the uh, numbers just so the inside of the numbers were pink and the rest was white and then I went ahead and printed that out on my transfer paper and basically this step is just you have to follow your own instructions from your transfer paper which should come with the transfer paper and mine were pretty simple and I just ironed it on and also if your bag is darker remember to get a darker transfer paper colour and that is it I think it's really cute and super customizable to your choice my next DIY is this Chanel classy notebook and drawing pad. So what you will need for this DIY is a notepad, some spray paint and a paint in the colour of your notepad. So I went on to Google and searched the Chanel logo and copy and pasted it. I then went on to Word and pasted that in and wrote the words Lassie in um, the font by Bass New and then I just made that bigger and then like made the Chanel logo the C so it all went onto the same line and it kind of read classy. I then just went ahead and printed that off and cut it out and taped it onto the front of my notebook and I then took some spray paint and spray paint over the stencil and then I whipped the stencil off and it came out like this and there was white everywhere so I just took the paint on a big brush over where it's built and on a detailer brush around the letters and that's it and the white is where I did an accident earlier. The next notebook is this glitter can you not notebook which I think personally is my favourite one. So what you'll need for this one is a notepad, a key and old one, some glitter and some glue. So I went ahead and printed this can you not that I just made on um, Word and I just cut my um, paper out and glued it down onto the front of my notebook. I then took some glue and put the glue on the letters and then sprinkled some glitter over it. It doesn't matter if it, there's more glitter like around the letters and if you overmound it loads like I did because I just left it dry for 15 minutes and then I went and shook off all the glitter and it only stuck to where the glue was and I love this so much. I don't really recommend putting it in your bag because glitter might go everywhere but yeah. So my final DIY is this tumbler kind of pencil pouch thing. So what you need for this DIY is an old t-shirt of your choice you don't mind wearing again, some strong adhesive glue or I used a glue gun and some scissors. <clears throat> Basically you're going to want to take your old t-shirt and cut out a square double the size of what you want your pencil case to be and this is where you can get creative and be so unique to your own and you can get material squares as well and yeah once you've done that you want to fold your square over so the pattern of the t-shirt is now facing inside and glue down the two sides that are shorter and then you're just going to want to leave that to dry mine took five to ten minutes and then just turned it inside out so then the pattern was now on the outside and once i had done that i glued down the 
flappy bit but left a gap at the end where I can slide my pencils into and that is literally it and I didn't know if this would work and I turned it upside down and literally nothing fell out it was so good I was so happy and it's really nice and I love it so much so I hope you guys enjoyed these DIYs I literally love them so much comment down below which DIY was your favorite remember to give this video a thumbs up and let's try and smash 1000 thumbs up check out all my social medias down below I've been posting on snapchat so much and I've been enjoying it so much so definitely add me over there because I sometimes give you sneak peeks of videos and yeah I will see you guys next time bye